Hello there, this is a tutorial for the procedural lines tool. So when you open the file, this is what you see. We have two objects. One is working with uh, curves and the other one's working with meshes. So what this tool does, it takes two curves and it interpolates to, from one to the other. And then you can determine how many lines you want to use for that. So if we go here, for example, it and uh, turn it off. We can see here that this is one line and it goes to this line. So these two lines make up uh, the information for the mesh to be calculated. So if we go here, now here we have the parameters. We can decide how many lines we want in between to have a lot of lines and fill it out. So how does this work? Uh, here we have the node. I made a, uh, some other nodes behind it to smooth it out. So I made a NURBS node. If I mute it, you see that it is a bit jagged, but it doesn't matter. You can draw a very smooth curve and then you don't need this node. But with this, I uh, also give it thickness. So here it's just one single curve. And here, uh, you have an output, which is the line index, as you see. So it's the number of the line. So it goes from one, two, three, four, five to how many lines there are. So with that, I send it to a stored attribute line index and it's linked to the line color material. So if we go to shading here, we can see uh, these values, they come in. And then they go from uh, one to the amount of lines and then make it uh, any color you want. So you have a little bit of control of how to do that. You don't have to use it. You can delete this and just use the node and uh, draw any line you want. And it's also nice that when you select these two lines, you can just uh, grab them. Uh, here proportional editing is on. Here you can see what happens. Maybe turn off uh, the magnet, the snapping. If you do proportional editing, it's easy. And it's uh, now it's a bit of a jagged curve. But if you um, have a smooth curve, you can make really nice lines for whatever you want to uh, create. And here the meshes, it's basically the same, but uh, done with meshes. As you can see, you can do the same thing. You can also, uh, we go into this mode. We have a remesh or uh, we can reverse the line. So sometimes you draw two lines and then it looks a bit weird like this. Then it wants to go from here to there because here is index one and here is index one. You can flip one of the lines and then it should be correct. And you can also resample your curve. And by resampling, now it sets uh, 10 points, like how many points you want. Maybe set it to 20. Uh, sometimes this is handy if you uh, go to this curve line, for example. We go in here, we make more points. And sometimes you can get these intersections and uh, with the resample curve. Let me see this on the curve. Like there sometimes is a clear difference. Sometimes you want to resample it and sometimes you don't. Like if you have really long lines and really complex curves, sometimes uh, uh, it's better to make the same amount of vertices here as you have on the other curve. So you know exactly how they will connect and they will not be overlapping. So this uh, gives you a little bit more control over what happens in between. And uh, yeah, you can give it colors. You can also uh, use the geometry that's coming out. Uh, a mesh comes out, you can make the curve and then maybe you can make a river flow or you can make uh, some kind of simulation looking things or a kind of cloth that has lines. So uh, there's a lot of use cases for this. 
but uh, this makes it easy to uh, just create parallel lines. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>